Hello and welcome to the Otoscope Excel video blog, where I offer up my favorite Excel tips, tricks, and hacks. Today I'm going to talk about the very useful average ifs function, which lets you calculate the mean or average of something while applying filters. This is super useful when you need to segment a group. Today I'm taking on the role of a mortgage banker. I want to figure out which demographic I should target in order to increase my commissions. I want to use past mortgage data to figure this out. Each row is a mortgage loan that recently closed. I want to figure out which borrowers on average take out the highest loan amounts. This is what will maximize my commissions. Borrowers have credit scores here in column E, and I also know their location. Moving to the first tab, this is how I want to calculate average loan amounts for borrower segments. I only want credit-worthy borrowers, so I want to filter out any FICO score below 660. And I want to segment by city. So in cell A4, I'm looking at the average loan amount for Seattle residents who also have a FICO score of at least 660. Okay, let's delete the data here and reproduce them with formulas. My average ifs formula is going to reference cell ranges, so it's good practice to name the ranges I'm going to use. First, I'll name the data in column B as loan underscore amount. Next, column E is borrower underscore FICO underscore score. And finally, column F is city. Now I can enter my average ifs formula in the summary tab. Okay, type out average ifs. The first parameter is the value you want to average. Since I'm interested in loan amounts, we want loan underscore amount. Next, I'll enter information for all the filter criteria I want to apply on loan amounts. My first filter is for borrower FICO score. After that, I need to tell the formula how to filter on FICO score. I'll enter greater than or equal to 660. Note the syntax here. The logical operator, greater than or equal to, and the specific value need to be in double quotes. Now on to my second filter. It's going to be for city. Next, I'll enter the criterion on how to filter a city. I only want to include loan amounts for the city in the header column, so I'll reference cell A3. The logic here says that I only want to filter for values where city equals the value in A3, in this case Seattle. Note the different syntax here for my filter criteria. A cell reference does not need to be in double quotes. And that's my complete formula. Hit enter and it gets me the average loan amount I'm looking for. Credit worthy borrowers with FICO score greater than or equal to 660 who live in Seattle. Copy to the right and the formula automatically updates for each city. Looks like Seattle should be where I focus. All right, that's it for this episode. Thanks everyone for watching, and as always, I'd love to see your comments and questions on the blog.